Today I'm going to be showing you how to replace the ISE measuring cartridges. This is a maintenance function that Roche recommends you do every two months and is uh, under the miscellaneous maintenance section in your utilities area. Uh, the first thing you have to go ahead and do is remove the lid that covers the measuring cartridges. Um, and this lid will cover the uh, measuring cartridges here on the left and the reference cartridge here on the right. Um, now today we're just going to be changing the measuring cartridges, which is done every two months. The reference is actually done every six months, I believe. Uh, all you need is three brand new measuring cartridges. And uh, when you're going ahead and getting these ready to install, you need to remove these plastic caps here on this end and on this end as well. Now while you're removing those caps, it's important to note on the one side that that little black gasket is still in the um, little area there. Now to go ahead and take them out, the first thing you do is switch from lock to release, a little push there, and you'll feel a click, and what that does is it releases everything um, so you can move it around, and uh, this will actually let you be able to pull them out once you unplug these cables. Now after you've unplugged the cables, you can go ahead and start to actually remove the measuring cartridges. Just keep in mind which way they're facing so that you can put it back, put it back in easier. I don't believe it would actually let you um, switch from release to lock if these are in the wrong uh, facing, but just getting it right the first time saves a little bit of time. And in case for some odd reason you were to actually forget which order they went into, Roche has kindly colored labeled right above the area they go into so that you know which order that is. And they also went ahead and added little colored strips to the cables so that you would know what uh, measuring cartridge the cables plug into. So if you get those slided in there, just go ahead and re-plug in the cables to the top of the measuring cartridges. And you don't have to crush this in here, you just want to make sure it's nice and firmly in place. And then go ahead and switch from release back to lock and you're all done. Um, from here you'd want to go ahead and run your um, green rack after you did a reagent prime or two. I believe I did two after this. And then um, you'd want to go ahead and run your calibrations again, or for the first time, and then run your QC as well, just to make sure that everything's working as it should. And that's how you replace them. Thanks for watching.